A program is ensuring college students stay safe through the art of self-defense. 2822 Eyewitness News reporter Nicole Rogers has the details. Over 50% of sexual assault cases on college or university campuses happen between mid-August and Thanksgiving. It's known as the Red Zone. Our Red Zone training encompasses sort of all things. Our courses are Title IX compliant, and Title IX is sort of like on, on college campuses to um, handle gender-based violence and sexual, uh, sexual assault prevention, uh, among other things. So we cover catcalling and inappropriate con comments to date rape drug prevention and drug facilitated sexual assaults, um, rape prevention, um, ab anti-abduction. So it's a full spectrum course of what we do. Owner of Tsunami Self-Defense Systems, Robert Thomas, says it's important to talk about, especially for those headed off to college. We always teach that self-defense begins with your self-worth and self-value and knowing that you're worth defending. So on college campuses, when things are new and exciting and you moved away from home for the first time, um, vulnerabilities are maybe there that you don't realize. You want to have fun and explore um, and do things. That's fine. College should be a fun, enjoyable time, but that's when predators prey. I even got to learn some of the moves they teach in their self-defense classes. No! 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 Their biggest advice? Trust your gut. Our intuition is so important because it really never lies. And you're far, far, far more protective if you're going to listen to something that may bring you safety than you are in trying to maybe deny it or maybe push it off to the side and go through with something that potentially could put you in some sort of danger or uncomfortable situation. They say your boundaries are your boundaries and it's your right to have them and uphold them even if they're different yeah. from those around you. In Scranton, Nicole Rogers, 2822 Eyewitness News. You can head to PAHomepage.com to learn more about tsunami self-defense systems and how they could teach you how to stay safe during the red zone.